Good afternoon, everyone. In our New Year's message, we mentioned three significant things that were going to happen this year. The first was shocking revelations coming out about all sorts of areas of life. And the second was a great increase in the Great Awakening. And the last one was greater interplanetary activity. And today for this post we want to home in more closely on this great awakening that's happening at this point in time and will be accelerating and intensifying in 2021. Now this is a spiritual awakening, it's not a physical awakening. And like everything spiritual, it cannot be given to you, it cannot be sent to you, it's got to come from within you yourself. I cannot waken anybody and you cannot waken anybody. Each of us has got to waken ourselves. That's the only way it can happen. And for you to awaken, there are two prerequisites. They must be in place before you can awaken. And the first one is there must be an increase, a raising of the energy vibration around us and the earth to bring us to that level where we can awaken. And secondly, we need to start questioning. For you to awaken, you have got to start questioning. It is you questioning things that brings about your own awakening. If you don't question, you are lying asleep. It is your questioning that initiates your own spiritual awakening. Now, what makes you question? This is the point we want to get to. Something Shocking. If you're having a wonderful life, everything easy, everything going as it should be going, you are not going to question anything. You will only question if shocking things happen to you, things you don't understand, things that don't make sense, crazy things, irrational things, and you will start to question them. And that is what's happening right now at this point in time. All the craziness, the illogical things that are happening, that is what's making us question. And once we start to question, then we start the awakening process within ourselves. The other requisite already here, the raising of the earth vibration. And the last time these two things were together was in 1623, 400 years ago. Those who didn't awaken then missed their chance. So don't let us miss our chance now, at this point in time, to get ourselves awakened, to awaken, to our spiritual awakening by questioning. Now, in 1623, the same as we had on the 21st of December, we had the winter solstice and we had the great conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn. Now, we can never underestimate the power that that had. In 1623, Saturn and Jupiter were in the same conjunction. Jupiter lined up in front of Saturn. And the gravitational pull that created on each other and on the Earth was so tremendous that it ended what we know as the Dark Ages for humanity and it ushered in the new splendid Renaissance period. Renaissance means renator, reborn. A rebirth of expressing things, sculpture, art, literature, discovery. And here we have again, 400 years later, we have the same conjunction which happened on the 21st of December with the winter solstice. And that is giving us the necessary prerequisite in the raising of the vibration of the earth that we need in order to awaken within ourselves. And there's another force we've got to remember too, Declan, not just the winter solstice and the conjunction, but something else has been happening over the last while, hasn't it, Declan? Absolutely. It's uh, the Schumann frequencies um, and if anybody has been paying attention what's going on with them for the last month or so these have been rising and rising mm-hmm. and rising now for anyone that doesn't know the Schumann frequency is the heartbeat of the earth you might call it or the vibration of earth which is 7.83 hertz now that may not mean a lot to a lot of people but it is a very healing frequency for the body now the earth is moving its vibration upward another great awakening so it's now much, much higher than that. <clears throat> and it has an effect on us physically. And people with high blood pressure might feel it, you know, people with heart problems, that type of thing. But we are being 
bodily moved into a whole new area of vibration and a whole new awakening, yeah. the Great Awakening. Yeah. And that is what we need. That has to be in place before we can awaken. And the second thing I've just said is we need to start questioning. That's the second thing necessary for us to awaken. And what makes us question is all the terrible things, <coughs> pardon me, the crazy things that are happening around us. We are asking, well, this can't be right. And, you know, it started already, Declan, with the crazy things. On the from the 1st of, of January, Look, up until that, we were told about this vaccination. We were told that this vaccination, when you get the first jab, you then have to get the second jab, and it must be within three weeks. Otherwise, it's not going to work. Mm -hmm. And then four days after the second jab, the whole thing will kick in. And now suddenly, on the 1st of January, 31st of December, we're told you're not going to get it until 12 weeks later. I mean, surely that must make people question. Well, it must. It, it must absolutely set alarm bells ringing for, for most people you know that these people who are setting these restrictions these rules the structure of our society at the moment austere as it is don't really know what they're doing they're confused they're putting they're taking information from a whole lot of different areas i believe um, and none of it is coherent and i think possibly doing it for the sake of doing it but it's all great because else. that shocking stuff is what's awakening it's us that's what's not awakening us sorry that can't awaken us that can cause us to question and it's the questioning that awakens us so it's all good mm. and the more crazy stuff we have bring it all on more people will awaken and Declan and I are starting to do a series here of posts for you for this year 2021 we're going to call this the series we're going to call it our great awakening and this, if you like, is the introduction to that. And we're going to try and cater for not just beginners, those who are awakening, but also for those well on their spiritual path. We're going to try and cater for every section here because, you know, we need to take the jump. If we don't take this jump now, we are going to be left behind. And this is a big jump and you do need your parachute. And the best help you can get yourself is to start reading, get Go into the internet, investigate, question, investigate, research for yourself. Find your nearest holistic center, mm. your angel shop, and they're all over the country. They're not hard to find. Go in there and get the information, get the guidance you need. That's what those people are for in there, to guide you and tell you where to go in your next step. I think firstly and foremost, also, we need to be grounding ourselves. We yes. need to be calm in all this confusion. An you're island calm, of calm. You're the calm one here, Declan. <laughs> <laughs> but I think I think we all I'm need. The blah, 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 I'm the blah, 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 when the calm one. <laughs> we all need we all need to keep that calmness, that stillness, yes. that lack of panic. These are calmness. difficult and austere times, but we need to be solid in ourselves. So in a few days' time, we will post number one video in our series for 2021, and we're calling that, as I just said, our great awakening, and it's all good. And as I said before, the next time this conjunction happens is going to be in 400 or 500 years time. So if we don't jump now and we don't awaken now, we are going to be left behind. Humanity is moving forward and that forward movement cannot be stopped. So we either go with it or we stay behind. And I'm going with it, Declan. I don't know about you. Oh, I'm hanging on to your coattails. <laughs> that could be dangerous. <laughs> so we'll talk to you again in a few days' time with number one video in our new series for 2021. So until then, wakey, wakey. <laughs> Namaste. Namaste.